hello everyone and welcome to my channel today and in this video I want to talk a little bit about 3d painting and how you can improve the quality of your paint um, using mesh mixer <music> Mesh Mixer is a great tool and is for free and with this tool you can treat your STL file. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Mesh Mixer to split your model into several pieces. This is very uh, um, helpful because you can um, avoid um, support material can use also mesh mixer to fit alignment pin and that will make it very easier to fit splitted parts together and in this video I'm gonna show you how I use it my 3d scanner shading ein scan is e to scan my model and here is the scan result First, let's uh, see how you can split um, a 3D model by simple cut. Select Edit, Plain Cut. Hold down the left mouse button to define the plane. Change the cut type to Slice so that uh, new parts of the model is discarded. The model will still appear by one piece. Select Edit, Separate Shells to create individual models. So use the Select tools and specify a small area in the model to be affected by the cut. When apply the cut, everything outside the selected area will uh, stay as one piece. And confirm by hitting the exit button. Don't forget to use the separate shells function, uh, otherwise uh, the model will stay as one piece. I go ahead and cut uh, the other parts so as you can see here I split it my 3d model into seven pieces and now let us see how you can use primitive to make a hole in the model first open the object browser and hide one part of the model created by the cut. Next step, open the mesh mix menu and drag a primitive. I choose a cylinder to the plane created by our cut. So you can scale the primitive by dragging the arrow and you can choose the best position by uh, dragging the sphere. Switch the uh, composition mode to, to create new objects. And when you're happy with the placement of the primitive, confirm that by the exit button. So it is very important to duplicate the primitive two times. Select the both parts and in the menu uh, the boolean uh, functions will pop up. And take the reduce target, take use intersection curve and decrease target scale. When clicking accept the 
primitive will create uh, a hole in the model. Now um, we repeat this process by the other half of the, of the model. We need one copy of the primitive for export. That's why we duplicate the primitive two times. It is very important to do that. As you can see here, this is the final result of our mesh mixer treatment. We have here seven parts. Each part includes one, one hole and one alignment pin that will uh, make the things very easier to uh, print and to fit the parts together. Now let us see uh, the 3D prints itself. As I said, um, by splitting the model, uh, you can avoid sports material and that makes uh, quick to to print. scan is E to scan this model so the link to the scanner um, is in the video description below I'm uh, very happy with the final results as you can see the split splitted parts is uh, are fitted uh, together using this alignment pin as you can see here and um, I'm very happy with the final results if you like this model you can see in the video description the link to the 3d model including 
old parts and uh, alignments pins so thank you guys for uh, showing my videos please support my channel by subscribing thank you